So I want you all to imagine you are in a dark room and you're looking outside through a tiny window. You just catch a glimpse of uh, the outdoor scenery. You know there is a lot more out there, right? So our eyes operate in a similar manner. What we capture is just some limited information about all the light interactions out there. And most of these light interactions, they're just invisible to us. What if we could reveal all of this scene information? What if we could capture all of this scene information? And what if we could see the invisible? So you could imagine uh, being able to see a car rushing in from a blind corner even before it comes into your view and avoid collisions. You could see internal cracks in a bridge and predict that it would collapse. And you could save lives. Doesn't it sound like a superpower? It's sort of similar to uh, Spider-Man's Spidey Sense, where he can sense danger even before the danger occurs. At MIT, we are developing technologies that make these kind of superpowers possible. So human vision system is inherently quite limited. Our eyes capture limited information about the visual world, and our brain has limited capacity in understanding light. And at MIT, we are building these artificial vision systems that surpass human vision. And there are two key components for these vision systems. We have extreme cameras, that can capture dimensions of light that are invisible to humans. And we pair them with extreme AI that can then understand these hidden dimensions of light. And we've shown that this unique combination of extreme AI and extreme cameras allows you to see around objects and see within objects. What do I mean by seeing around objects? So let's look at this image of a ceramic owl statue there is no way just by looking at this image you can tell me the surroundings of this object, right? There's no way you can tell me where this object is located. What if I give you a video of just like moving around this owl? Can you figure out what the environment around this owl is? If you look closely, there are these white spots that move around the surface of the owl. And turns out these are essentially the reflections of the environment, the surroundings around this owl. We have built AI technologies that can understand these reflections and that can essentially see around this object. So we can reconstruct this panorama of the surroundings that this owl is present in. And lo and behold, the surroundings that we reconstruct match the actual surroundings the owl is present in. We can reconstruct the position of the tube lights in the scene. We can reconstruct the position of the walls in the scene. So what can we do by seeing around objects? We can create safer cars and robots. Imagine you're driving. The street in front of you is completely empty. There are a bunch of cars parked on the side. What you don't know is that there is a car rushing in from a blind corner. Using our technology, you can extract the reflections on the parked cars, and you can see that car rushing in even before it comes into your field of view and avoid potential collision. So this is what you can do by seeing around objects. Now, how do we see within objects? We'll use this property of light called as polarization. So what you see here is a regular uh, tape dispenser. It's like this, right? It's just a regular everyday tape dispenser. It looks completely transparent. But when I place this tape dispenser in front of a polarized light source, which could be, for example, a laptop screen, or like a mobile screen. And when I view this object through a polarized sunglasses, such as these, we start seeing these really beautiful colored patterns. These patterns move as I rotate around this object. So something that's like completely mundane and transparent, if I look at it in the polarization dimension, which is completely invisible to our human eyes, we start seeing these colorful patterns. So, what do these patterns mean? What do they encode? Turns out they encode the mechanical properties of this object. So when this plastic object was created, it was imparted a lot of mechanical stress. And that stress shows up as a stress field within this object. So using cameras that can see this polarization of light, and using AI that can understand uh, polarization, 
we can recover back this uh, 3D stress field inside of this uh, regular everyday object. So what can we do with this capability? We can use it to see the internal stresses in objects in a non-destructive manner at a distance. And we can prevent possible collapses or failures in structures. For example, we have here a cylindrical object that has applied forces in all different directions. And we can recover the underlying three-dimensional stress field. And we can recover the force corresponding to each of the following uh, points that are applied. What you see here is a glimpse of what we can achieve with superhuman vision. And to be able to realize this vision, we need progress along two fronts. First, we need uh, camera hardware. The existing cameras, like such as in our smartphones, they are designed to mimic human vision. Uh, and they capture, they're concerned about capturing what's visible. We need extreme cameras, cameras that can capture uh, invisible properties of light, such as polarization. That's number one. Number two is we need AI algorithms. And AI algorithms of today are trained on the sea of data that we get from these uh, common smartphone cameras, right? For example, today OpenAI's uh, GPT is trained on widely available uh, photos and videos. Everything is all visible. It's all trained on the visible uh, spectrum. But to realize this vision, we need extreme AI. We need AI that is trained on what's invisible. So as we all know, the advent of smartphones completely changed how we uh, consume and capture information. Right? So smartphones led to this uh, social media revolution. And we are today, we are in the middle of the AI revolution uh, with chat GPT and deepfakes completely transforming the society. And the future is this superhuman vision revolution, which is enabled by extreme AI and extreme cameras. So the future of a superhuman vision is pretty vibrant. From being able to find new, new cures by seeing invisible microscopic mechanisms to creating safer robots and cars that can see invisible threats, to discovering new kinds of invisible celestial events. The future of AI with superhuman vision is really fascinating. And you truly will never see it coming. Thank you. <laughs>